Speaking of experts. And Zika and pandemic influenza. Dr. Fauci says he's retiring. And instead of admitting he was wrong several times throughout the pandemic, remember, you don't need a mask. You do need a mask. Two masks are better than one. The masks never really worked, but it was just to mitigate. The vaccine was the secret. That didn't work, but the boost. You got the boost. We always knew the boost wouldn't work. What you need is Paxlovid. If you take Paxlovid with the boost and the mask... If you're vaccinated, you don't have a risk. Take a look at Dr. Fauci telling you why he's retiring and also how many times he and his exploits got it wrong. Dr. Fauci, it's an honor to have you here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Rachel. Good to be with you. Why now? Um, why after all of these years, all of these presidents, all of these epidemics that you have searched through? Why, why is now the time to go? Well, you know, Rachel, it, it's never really a good time to leave, but you have to leave sometime. I have been wanting to pursue another chapter in my career, as you mentioned. We have learned lessons from outbreaks in the past, like HIV and Ebola and Zika and pandemic influenza and the challenges of the possibility of bird flus turning into a pandemic. But in some respects, the situation has eroded. And I think it has in the sense of a of neglecting of the capabilities of the local public health officials. Because if you want to respond to an emerging infection, you do need leadership from above. You need central support from the government. But at the local level, you also have to have the kind of resources that will allow you to respond. You know, when we learned, and I, and I hope we are still learning, a very important lesson from COVID is that you never ever underestimate an emerging infection in which you don't know where it's going. If you're unvaccinated, you have a much higher chance of getting this newly transmissible variant we had never seen before, before a couple of weeks ago. And it's the unvaccinated people who it's going to make sick. When the government told us, told the American people, that people who had been vaccinated couldn't get it, were they guessing or were they lying? I don't know. Because we've been fooled before. We didn't fully appreciate the magnitude of HIV back in the early 80s when I first got involved, when the first cases were recognized. And there were so many things we learned on the run with covid I mean, the things that we thought we knew in the beginning turned out as the months went by to not be the case, which really forced us to adapt and to change some of our policies and recommendations. According to your testimony, it wasn't just President Biden who said things that were not accurate and were not true. They're, you're OK. You're not going to you're not going to get covid if you have these vaccinations. You said beginning in 2021, so beginning in the Biden administration, again, these are your words, agencies provided muddled and contradicting information or partial information that implied we knew something we didn't, which they later had to correct. Time to do it. This is it. Which accelerated the loss of respect and trust in the federal government. I knew these vaccines were not going to protect against infection, and I think we overplayed the vaccines, and it made people then worry that it's not going to protect against severe disease and hospitalization. That was interpreted by many as flip-flopping or not really knowing what's going on when it really was the evolution. What's going to save you right now is Paxlovid. So that's why I'm saying even if you're vaccinated and boosted, if you're unvaccinated right now, the key is testing and Paxlovid. We were wrong many times, but we were evolving our knowledge. And now, now we know we have the idea and the vaccine and the solution for you. Paxlovid. Look no further. The answer to all your problems has been here all along. Paxlovid. Here is the problem with Dr. Fauci. He thinks he's always evolving, but he's always wrong the whole time. Now, everything he said I told you was wrong a year and a half ago, two years ago. I'm not an exploit, but I was just like, this isn't making sense. And he keeps saying he's evolving. My question is, why does he think he has it right now? Why does he think after two years, he now has a complete firm grasp on what needs to be done? How does he know where he is in the wrong cycle? Because the problem with being in the cycle is you don't know where you are on the wheel. He's always on the wrong side. So that idiot. And now they have um, uh, people who are predicting he is getting out before the Democrats lose the House. Then you have 
the Jim Jordans, the senators, the Congress, and they are going to bring him on trial if he's still trying to hold his position. But if he says, I'm gone, I retired, why are you bothering me? I'm still focused on the Zika and the influenza, but not the cover. So the man can't even say influenza. He can't say Zika. Watch how he says it. And Zika and pandemic influenza and... Zika. Influenza. If you can't even pronounce it, how can you be the exploit on these diseases? That's what I want to know. Put in the comments if you think Dr. Fauci now has a grasp on what's going on, or is he still on the wheel of wrongness, tumbling down the hill?